Excel has three different types of data that can be entered into cells. You might already know that Excel doesn't treat all types of data the same. Therefore, it is important to learn the different types of data and how to use them in Excel. In Excel, you can enter three basic types of data into a cell. You can enter a numeric value, text, or formula. Excel worksheets can also hold a number of different objects such as charts, images, word art, clip art, and more. However, these objects are not entered into cells. They are instead inserted on a worksheet's draw layer, which is an invisible layer in an Excel worksheet. Numeric values. Numeric values can represent data such as revenues, invoice numbers, number of customers, quantity of inventory, and more. Dates and times are also considered numeric values, however they are treated differently than other numeric values by Excel. Excel recognizes dates with the serial number system. The way you can see this is by entering a date into a cell. While the cell with the date is activated, change the number format to general and you will see what serial number Excel has assigned to the date you entered. You can see that if we enter in the date October 17th, 2012 and then change the number format to general, our date turns into the number 41,199, which is the serial number assigned to our date. Another type of data that you can enter into a cell is a text. Text can be used to title tables as well as represent many different types of qualitative data such as categories, employee names, suppliers, stock symbols, and more. When you enter data that is a combination of numbers and letters such as 7up, Excel will still consider the text. This of course excludes dates. Formulas Formulas are what makes an Excel spreadsheet so powerful. Formulas allow you to make multiple calculations with a single press or click of a button. When a formula is entered into a cell, the result of the formula is what appears in the cell and on the printed worksheet. Excel numbers are limited to only 15 digits. If you enter in a number that contains more than 15 digits, Excel will change the numbers after the 15th digit to zeros. This might be a problem if you are using Excel to store credit card numbers, which are 16 digits long. Imagine entering a list of credit card numbers just to find out that Excel converted the 16th digit to a zero. Luckily, there's a solution to this problem. All you have to do is format the cell as a text. To do this, simply select the cell. Right-click and select Format Cells from the shortcut menu. Then click on Format Cells and a tab dialog box will pop up. Make sure that the number tab is selected and then under Category select Text and click OK. Now your cell will be formatted as a text and you can enter a much much larger series of numbers. Excel has numeric limits and will express large numbers in scientific notation. Just remember that numbers that are expressed in scientific notation are not accurate if the number has more than 15 digits. Entering numeric values and text into Excel. To enter data into a cell, you need to select the cell and then simply type in the data. You can type the data into the formula bar or directly into the cell. When you enter data directly into the cell, it will also appear in the formula bar and when you enter data into the formula bar it will also appear in the selected cell. When you enter numeric values into a cell you can also include decimal points, currency symbols, plus and minus signs, and commas. If you enclose a numeric value in parentheses Excel will convert it into a negative number. Sometimes a cell might not be long enough to fit your data. For example, if you were to type the word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious it would not fit into the cell. How could you fix this problem? The first way you can make your data fit is by moving your cursor over the line exactly to the right of the column letter. When your cursor is in the right spot, it should turn into a vertical bar with the left and right arrow. Now simply double click and the entire row will fit to the length of your data. You could also change the font size by using the font size command in the font group which is in the home tab. Another option 
would be to select the cell that contains the text along with some cells to the right and then merge the cells into one cell. You can do this by first activating the cell that contains your data, clicking on the down arrow on the Merge and Center button, and then selecting Merge Across. This method is the most common method when adding titles to charts. You could also use the Wrap Text function. Simply activate the cell that contains the data and click on the Wrap Text button, which is on the ribbon when the Home tab is selected. If you have a large amount of data, such as a paragraph inserted into a cell, you can expand the formula bar to show all the data that the cell contains. To do this, just activate the cell that contains the data and then move your cursor immediately under the formula bar. Your cursor will turn into a vertical double arrow. You can click and drag the formula bar down, or you can double click the formula bar and it will show the cell's data in its entirety. Dates and Times in Excel Dates and times are treated differently in Excel than other numeric values. If you're going to be using dates and times, then it is important to understand how Excel handles them, especially if you're going to be making charts that show dates, such as Gantt charts. Dates Dates are handled in Excel by a serial number system. For example, as we showed earlier, Excel recognized October 17, 2012 as 41,199. The serial number system starts at 1, which represents January 1, 1900, and serial number 2 represents January 2, 1900, and so on. You can also use formulas to calculate the number of days between two dates. The way you would do this is by subtracting one date from the other date. The number will either appear positive or negative depending on whether or not you subtracted the earlier date from the later date. The absolute value of the result is the amount of days between the two dates. Times in Excel Excel also handles times with the serial number system except it handles times with the serial number system using decimals. To see this, simply enter in a time into a cell and then change the number format to general. Entering formulas into Excel. To tell Excel you're entering a formula, you have to first insert the equal sign. When the equal sign is the first character entered into Excel, Excel will treat the following data as a formula. You can enter the formula you want manually, or you can use the Insert Function tool, which will provide you with a dialog box to help you find the formula you need. The Insert Function command can be found in the Formulas tab on the ribbon. We will go over all the different functions, but for now, just know that the plus sign and minus sign can be used for addition and subtraction, and the asterisk and forward slash can be used as multiplication and division, respectively. For example, if you entered equals 5 asterisk 5 into a cell, Excel would multiply 5 by 5 showing the result of 25. If you entered equals 25 forward slash 5, then Excel would divide 25 by 5, resulting in 5. We have covered the different types of data that can be used in Excel cells and briefly explained how to use each type of data. Remember, the best way to learn is to experiment with Excel in combination with these tutorials.